What's the price plow story? I'm not really familiar. Uh, so Mike was playing water polo at Ohio State, and he wanted to find the best protein um, prices. And at the time, price comparison sites were huge. Like you would get coupons, you'd go there, and you'd find – the stuff that like a uh, kayak.com for, for there was a for everything. Yeah. Yeah. There was stuff for everything. And so Mike was playing the affiliate game, mm. you know, mm. huge. We still do a ton of the price comparisons. If you go to our site, you can get a lot of that. No, stuff I see still, him. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, that's where the name makes sense. But then Mike realizes that you need content to drive this stuff. Yeah. Uh, so he starts doing YouTube and Ad- admittedly did a great job at YouTube for a long time. You know, when you look at like the heyday of like YouTube fitness, like he was, st- he was up there. We have some videos like rich Piana stuff back in the day Still doing very, very well in search. Um, Damn. But he needed social media. Yeah. So. Um, and this was in the realm like before social media was like super big. Because like all that stuff really popped up maybe like 2005, but social media didn't really hit its stride until the 2010s. Or something. Yeah. So at this point, I was really adept at creating communities and uh, let's say nurturing them and kind of like stoking the fire and like being able to convert that and really be able to make real conversions. Um, new trial, I left, uh, end of 2018, right after that Olympia. And then I went to another brand for like six months that didn't work out with, but the company that I went to was really excited to announce to people. Cause at that point I, I was traveling a lot and like people kind of knew who I was just as a rep. Like at that point you kind of knew people at companies and so this company was really excited to have me. And they called Mike. They're like, we got, we got Ben Kane. And he called me and he's like, what the fuck, man? I wanted you. Like, why didn't you call me? Uh, and I didn't know. I didn't know that he never expressed this to me that you wanted to bring me on the team. And so he's like, all right, after this one, you're mine. Like when this is over, whatever. <laughs> he peed on you like a dog at the park. <laughs> I, I love Mike. I, I love, he's really good dude. He's really great to work with. Um, and uh, I was like, yeah, sure. Absolutely. And things didn't work out at that company. So Called him. I was like, man, uh, I'd like to take you up on that offer. And Guess we what? figured it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was really dope. When I came on, it was, uh, he didn't promise me anything. It was all commission. I made as much as I could make. Literally. Yeah. So would you go and do your own sales and do your own content just all under the price plow? Like the f- what's, what's the business strategy? Man, you want to talk about this. Uh, it was really cool because I'm not like a business person. I just, I think I'm a logical person. Mm-hmm. I just see systems and, you know. And Mike had a really great lifestyle business at the time. Mm -hmm. He was supporting his family with content and not a lot of employees like we have now. So Mm -hmm. it just kind of was what it was. Uh, And I came in and I was like, Cage launched three new flavors in the last quarter and you didn't cover them. Why? Well, they didn't reach out. Why didn't you reach out to them? Well, we got all this other content. And it's a one-man show, of course. Like no criticism. But what I proposed to our then clients and then built was a retainer system. I know you're going to come out with something. You should be coming out with something every month, mm-hmm. at least at least at least once a quarter. Yeah. Let's make this so you can expect this content. Mm-hmm. And we have regular calls where we plan this stuff. Mm-hmm. I've just been building that ever since. We have clients. Yeah. We work as an extension of the marketing department. So yeah. It could totally be blogs. That. Most people know us for our videos, of course. That's kind of like what most people covet, but I think the, the blog is underrated. Yeah. Um, the SEO for sure. Email newsletters, hot deal, hot deal blasts. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also active on Twitter and Pinterest. No one really. <laughs> Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> who, who manages that? Uh, we use uh buffer and it just yeah goes everywhere. Okay. You know, 